Welcome to AJ Creations. Today we are going to talk about pigmented stones. That is the third part of our video lectures. The first part was talking about the gallbladder stones generally, and the second part, the type of ga uh, gall stone that is cholesterol stone. And in third part and the last one, we are going to talk about pigment stones. If you haven't seen the video, please watch those videos from the description. It will help you for the continuation of this lecture. Let's talk what is pigment stone. Pigment stones are colored dark brown to black in color. They consist of calcium salt of bilirubin, phosphate, carbonate and other anions in them. In our first lecture video, we have talked that we have two type of pigment stones that is black type and brown type. We are going to talk about black type first. So black type pigment stones are composed of either pure calcium bilirubin or polymer like with calcium and mucin glycoprotein in them. This is more common in patients with chronic hemolytic stasis, which will increase the conjugated bilirubin in their bile. Like in patients with liver cirrhosis, Gilbert syndrome or cystic fibrosis. Now we are going to talk about in what kind of diseases we see more pigment stones in them. Gallstone scenes in patients who had the ileal diseases, ileal resection, ileal bypass are also black pigment stones. We usually see black pigment stones in all these three about diseases. The pathogenesis for this is due to the heterohepatic recycling of bilirubin in ileal diseases. We have talked about black pigment stones. Now we are going to talk about brown pigment stones. When we talk about brown pigment stones, it composed of calcium salt, of unconjugated bilirubin with varying amount of cholesterol and protein in them. This is caused by presence of increased amount of unconjugated insoluble bilirubin in bile that precipitate for, to form stones in future. We have talked in our previous video that for cholesterol stones, Asia and Japan are the least common places we see cholesterol stones. But in the case of pigment stones, the frequent place is Asia. Studies shows that it is often associated with infection in gallbladder and the biliary tree. When we are going to talk about predisposing factors, demography. It is considered in last video also of cholesterol stones. Here also Asia, we already talked about this. And the genetic factor is according to some studies conducted, genetic factor also have many uh, importance in this gallstones. Chronic hemolysis, alcoholic liver disease, we have already talked about these things. Perinaceous anemia. Okay, I will just briefly explain what is perinaceous anemia. It is a disease where large immature nucleated cells circulate in the blood. As they are immature, they won't do any function of blood cells. This is caused by the impairing uptake of vitamin B12. Remember, impaired uptake of vitamin B12. Due to lack of intrinsic factor in the gastric mucosa of our body. The other factors include cystic fibrosis, chronic biliary tract infection, parasite infection, increasing age, ileal disease, ileal resection and ileal bypass as we already talked about. Now let's go to diagnostics. We all know ultrasound is the perfect or accurate test we do for stone, stone testing. It is the most accurate main advantage are results are not limited by jaundice or pregnancy or even some other uh, causes and even we can diagnose small minute stones using ultrasound, gallbladder ultrasound scan. And the most used test is the plain abdominal x-ray. It is because of the low cost, but it have many limitations like we cannot do that on pregnant women like that. Even though due to the low cost, plain abdominal x-ray is the most uh, asked test or it is considered as an initial screening test. Let's talk about symptoms. 
Actually, we wanted to talk about symptoms in the first part of our video, but I am saying sorry for bringing it to the last. Nevertheless, let's start. Usually, for gallbladder stones, the symptoms are caused only if there is causing of inflammation or any other obstructions. Obstruction in the cystic duct or the CBD due to migration of stones that causes the symptoms. The main causing symptom is biliary colic pain, which is often long lasting and constant pain. The pain is generated at the location of obstruction by the stone in the cystic duct or the CBD. This is due to increased intraluminal pressure and the intention of viscous and that cannot be relieved by repetitive biliary contra contraction that is happening in our body. The pain is explained as severe steady aching pain or otherwise fullness in the epigastrium or right upper quadrant of our stomach. With a frequent radiation, the radiation pain is felt on the interscapular area, right scapula or our shoulders. The duration of pain is often explained as lasting from 13, 30 minutes to 5 hours. Even nausea, vomiting also accompany with biliary pain. To be noted, if there is nausea, vomiting, biliary pain and an elevated level of serum bilirubin alkaline phosphate, this suggests that the stone is located at the common bile duct that is the CBD. If we are having symptoms like fever, chill, biliary pain accompanied with that usually refers to a complication that is cholecystitis that can be pancreatitis or even cholangitis. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and like this video and share. If you want me to bring more topics in front of you, sh tell me that in a, a comment section. We'll see you in the next video with another topic. Thank you.